So I'm just doing a routine valve adjustment on this Honda J-Series engine here. This is the J35 model, but it's a VTEC engine. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to talk about VTEC while the valve cover's off and how VTEC works. So this engine here, it's a SOHC engine, which just means it's a single overhead cam. So per bank of cylinders, there's one camshaft, and that runs down the middle here. And as the camshaft rotates, the rocker arms go up and down just like this and push on the valves. So we've got the intake valves here and the exhaust valves down there on the outside. Now what does it stand for and what is it? VTEC, it stands for Variable Valve Timing and Lift Electronic Control. What does it do? The VTEC system provides the engine with valve timing optimized for both low and high RPM applications. So higher performance at high RPM and lower fuel consumption at low RPM. And it does this using CAM profiles, which I'll talk about in a second. So who uses it? Well, VTEC is a Honda specific system or Honda technology, so it's trademarked. Uh, similar manufacturers have similar systems, but they're not going to be called VTEC. Uh, so nothing with the explicit VTEC name is outside of Honda due to the trademark. So think of VTEC in this application here for this engine as providing two cam profiles. Now what a cam profile is, it's just like the length of a cam lobe, which is like these little things right here. So it's like a typical variable valve timing system, but it alters the camshaft profile and valve lift. So the short lift profile opens the valve shorter and for a shorter time. So these two right here. And when VTEC is uh, enabled, I suppose you could say, the, uh, uh, the high lift profile is enabled, which opens the valve further and for a longer time, giving better performance. So let's take cylinder number six as an example. These are the intake valves, the exhaust ones are down here. So we have uh, two cam lobes here for the low RPM application, and they're running as the cam um, shaft rotates. These go down sh uh, for a shorter length and for a shorter period of time. And when VTEC is enabled, the primary uh, rocker arm, um, just say it's this one for example, that will contain the switching piston and the other one here, right here, will contain the return spring. And what happens is when VTEC is activated, pushes, pushes, pushes until these are all connected in unison. And then they'll all go together. And that is why that one is thicker. You can see it's almost twice as thick as these two because when the cam lobe rotates, we're using this cam profile and no longer these two. So they're all moving together but using this cam profile here, the cam length. And that makes these valves go deeper and for longer so we can get more air in and you know and if you have them on the exhaust side depending on the engine then you will get more exhaust gases escaping as well as more air coming in which gives you more performance so how is VTEC activated you know how does the ECU the engines computer know when to activate VTEC a lot of people think it's just engine RPM that's not really true at all a lot of things are taken into consideration by the ECU so uh, the switching operation between the cam lobes so you know as these join together here is operated by the ECU and it takes into account oil pressure engine temperature vehicle speed engine speed and throttle positions it's not just RPM so the switch up, it's got a switch up, uh, um, I'm sure there's a lot of synonyms as well, but switch up into VTEC, all these things are considered. And when it, um, the ECU decides it's time for VTEC, these are linked together using uh, oil pressure, um, using a solenoid, we'll talk about that in a second. However, when we're switching down, switching down back out of VTEC um, occurs at a lower engine speed than switch up just to avoid a situation where you're traveling at a certain RPM, it's not constantly switching in and out of VTEC. And the last thing I'll mention is what happens when it's activated, like what, what sort of happens. So when all the conditions are met and the ECU says, yes, it's time for VTEC, a solenoid is act, uh, actuated that allows the oil pressure. So oil pressure is like built up behind the solenoid is act, um, actuated. The oil pressure comes in and it's pressurized and it just forces these to interlink uh, using a locking pin and it binds them together. And therefore the uh, cam profile here is uh, activated and we're in VTEC. So it's to do with oil pressure and a solenoid, so very mechanical. 
So that's how VTEC works in this specific engine. Again, the VTEC here is on the intake side. This specific engine, you can see we don't have it on the exhaust side. Different model engines have it here and down here. Again, it depends, but the principle is the same. More air and more exiting of the exhaust gases. That's really how it works to boost performance. So I thought this would be a great time to tell you why I have the valve cover off so you can see exactly how it works. So I hope this helped you and thanks for watching.